You may not think that fruit and cheese could possibly ever go together, but this combination is awesome. Halloumi is salty and kind of gloopy and melty because you're gonna grill it. The watermelon is fresh and sweet and really brings out that saltiness in the halloumi. And of course the mint and the lime zest will only help to build all of those flavors together. So the first step is obviously to grill that halloumi. You need to have a smoking hot pan. So as I always say, grown up eyeballs on that pan. And meanwhile, you're going to cut this halloumi into similar kind of shapes to the watermelon. So here we go, we've got some halloumi going on. And then I'm gonna pour some olive oil over the top of the halloumi itself, not into the pan. It'll help the contact of the cheese against the heat, but it won't fry it. Because you're not frying the cheese, you're grilling it. Now you wanna hear the sizzle, you ready for that? That is the sound that you're looking for. And that tells you that the heat is hot enough to actually create those char lines without being cool enough where you're basically gonna cook the cheese instead of just charring it up. Here we go. Now you need to leave it alone. Because this is a griddle pan and it's got those lines, if you move it around too much, the lines are going to get uneven. So just leave that alone and trust the heat. Meanwhile, I'm gonna chop up some mint. Now, if you want to chop the mint really easily, you don't have to use a knife, you can just use some scissors. Bring it together, fold it over itself, just like that, and then chop with some scissors into a fine sort of chiffonade, just like that. Watch those fingers, because scissors are still sharp, but it's a lot safer to do this way. There we go. Some chefs do this, actually. <laughs> Okay, now this looks like it's just about ready to turn. So let's take a look. There we go. Terrific. Perfect. Now if we're lucky, it'll come straight off. Aha! That is the char line situation that we're looking for. Let's turn that over. Oh, great. Now if you lose some of those char lines because they get stuck on the griddle, that's fine. Just as long as you've got a little bit of that colour, you're going to get a lot more flavour out of the halloumi itself. Oh, oh, oh. Gorgeous. That's nice. Now you can see I'm being really careful because this pan is super hot. So don't spend too long around the pan. Oh, that one's perfect. I want you to see it. There you go. That's what you're looking for. Those nice, even char lines. Gorgeous. Now the mint is chopped. The watermelon's already cut into cubes, just like this. Kind of the similar shape and size to the halloumi. And you're gonna squeeze a little bit of lime on top. This again will bring out the sweetness and will also add a bit of zing factor. Now I'm gonna pop some mint on top of the watermelon. This is so yummy. Perfect for summertime. I think we're just about ready to serve. Because you want that halloumi to be hot, but not so hot that you can't actually handle it. Because we're gonna pop it on a skewer. Like a cheese and fruit lollipop. <laughs> okay, let's plate it up. Terrific, you can see it's really quick to do. So it's a really good after school snack. If you don't have halloumi, you can sub it out for feta. And if you don't have skewers, you can actually just pop it on a plate maybe with some rocket or some other fresh kind of lettuce. And then you just go one for one. Halloumi, watermelon. This is massive, so you might want to share it with a friend. <laughs> Halloumi, watermelon. There we go. What do you think, one more halloumi? Yes. There we go. Terrific. That is what it looks like. Let's grab a bit more of that mint on top. A little bit of lime zest as well is already all over the watermelon, but you want to pop a bit more of that. And you know what? I'm going to drizzle some olive oil as well because that always looks really nice. But I'm not going to drizzle it straight from the jug because it'll go everywhere. I'm just going to use a little teaspoon and be sensible. And that is absolutely gorgeous. A wonderful summer snack for after school or any time of day. Delicious. And the best part about it is that you made it yourself. 
<laughs> I'll see you next time.